I got this at the Dollar Tree. It's a little camper. It did have a little string and a tag on it. I took it off. Dollar Tree has some really cute wooden shapes sometimes. So um, I've been trying to think of some colors. And uh, I think I'm going to do this, this part here, a light tan. Maybe this one a little bit darker. Um, and then alternate white and a light tan here. Then white inside of these. And then this will be pink or red. And then pink or red. So that's what I'm kind of thinking. If I don't like it, then we'll change it out. Uh, welcome. This is Robin from Art and Gifts, by the way. I always protect my table. I have a bucket of water and a couple different brushes. And I have craft acrylic paints. And some paper towels. Alrighty. nice if they have the lines already ingrained in there. This is just a little filbert brush, but you could use a flat brush. In general, you want to use the largest brush that will fit the area. If you're painting the background. So like if I was painting a 16 by 20, I would use a much larger brush if I was doing the background on a, a canvas, like a 16 by 20. I might use a one or even a two inch brush to get that background in. These are just fun little um, pieces you can do for decorations. I have so many decorations for Christmas and Easter and even um, St. Patrick's Day, but I don't have anything for Valentine's. So I thought when I saw this that it would be a fun thing to paint. I'm mixing mostly white, a little brown. It would probably be a little bit easier to paint this if you glued these pieces on yourself, but this already came glued, you know. So, because then you could do the whole background. You don't have to worry about it. This little piece here, I think that's what um, raises it up from the ground so that it's not, you know, your, your level when you're parked. So I'm going to paint it like a gray, I think. I'm mixing my black and white. I'm just going to do that gray. That's very dark. Let's that. I might do this part too. It looks like it's an extension of something. That probably hooks it onto your truck. So, so far I've done some tan and then I did um, the two parts with the hold it on the ground and the uh, part that goes onto the truck. And I might go over that with silver later. Maybe even a metallic silver. That might be fun. These are just fun decorations, and you can do them really whatever color you like. Let's 
see if I can get that rinsed out a little better. And I'm going to do this one white, then brown, white, and brown. brush might work really well in here since there's all these angles. I've gone over a few spots. I can just come back and touch them up. Not a big deal. So we've base coated the first stripe. We'll do the next one. I think it's going to need two coats. And if you'd like to hit the like and subscribe button, I'd like to see more projects. We paint wood, we paint on canvas and paper, mostly using acrylic paint. Sometimes craft paint and sometimes heavy body. If I just put a smidge of pink in this tan, that might be fun. Oh, it's almost like a mauve. I'm liking that. So I mix the brown and white and just the tiniest touch of pink. And this one has a lot of weird spaces, so I'm going to switch to my round brush to get around those little nooks and crannies. So I got white, brown, and a tiny bit of pink. Isn't that pretty? I might go back and do this that same color. Or maybe that fender. Sort of a little bit of subtle, subtle pink. You can move these around so that you're not bending your arm at a weird angle and so that you can see what you're doing.
So I'm just going around those little places. And if I need more paint, I'm adding the brown, white, and a little bit of pink. If you push down on these round brushes, they widen out and you can get a little bit of a wider area. Okay, so I got my stripes, base coats. I'm going to fill in these, <clears throat> even though they're on top of these different colors, I'm going to fill them in completely with white because I'm going to go around this with either red or a darker pink. So I'm going to fill it in with white so that you can really see it. my brush almost straight up and down and if this is too big I can get a smaller brush and if you get on top of the um, the forms that shape the letters that's okay because we're gonna go over that with a darker color it'll cover up the white just fine you might have to move your wood piece around to get into those nooks and crannies Take your time, put some nice music on, and enjoy this process. Now the other side of this camper shade is blank, so you could do a, another season on this one. You know, you can just draw in some windows and the door and do a whole different season. You could make it for St. Patrick's Day or summer or whatever. They're very versatile that way. If you go to my Facebook page, I did, um, there was a Christmas gingerbread house and I did the back side with a haunted, made it look like a haunted house. So these are very versatile in that way. Rotate it as I need it to get into these little spots. So I'm getting into all those little spots with the very tip of my brush. another little area oh right here so I did the inside of the love with white then I'm going to do this outside either with red or pink so that should show up pretty well okay this has a lot of uh, wood coloration on it, so I'm just going to base coat that white. And then whatever color we put on there will show up a little better. I might do that to all of them. I'm 
just going to base coat these little raised hearts so that when we put another color on there, it'll be it'll pop because we base coated it first. I'm in the white. I'm going to give this a second coat. Just putting on a second coat to the white stripes. So I put a second coat on the white stripes and these raised hearts I base coated in white. I think I'm going to make that door this same pink. So let me make a little more of that. And a tiny bit of pink. A tiny bit of brown. I think some clear glitter might look very nice on this when we're done. Give it a little sparkle. You can use glitter or not. Some people love it, some people don't. And when I'm talking about glitter, I'm not talking about sprinkle on glitter. I'm talking about paint. Do I have one here? Yeah paint like this that has the glitter enclosed in the paint so you're not dealing with glitter everywhere all over your house. So I'm just base coating this door now and you are um, more than welcome to use different color combinations. You might like really bright colors. You want the whole thing bright? Go for it. This is just one way to paint this. and white in that to match.
This wood is really sucking up the paint. So I'm just putting a second coat on these other areas. One nice thing about white is it'll make things more opaque, less trans transparent. So we have our stripes, we've this raised door we've painted, and we've base coated white on the little hearts. Okay, I'm going to paint the hubcap black. I mean the tire, sorry. I saw a car in our little town the other day and it had, the hubcaps were bright red. I'd never seen that before. Really a vivid, vivid red on these hubcaps. I've always seen them silver. Are any of you campers? So what I'm doing, you can't see that. I'm just going and putting the tire in. I did hit that heart with the black, so I'm gonna go over it with some white in a minute. Try to fix that. I'm going to rinse that really well, try to get all that black out of there. Okay, now I'm going to do the hubcap, and I'm going to make it a little bit more pink. I'm going to use the white and the brown still, but I'm going to make it a little more vivid pink. white is almost empty so I have to take the lid off. So this blend I'm using a lot more pink, less brown, so that this will be much more vivid than this color. Still not going to be our brightest pink because we're going to save that for the hearts. So 
with just a little bit of brown and a lot more pink and some white. Can you see this part that I'm painting? Let me turn it around. There. This black is still wet, so I'm Try not to hit it. Trying to get some of this just on the very tip so I can get these little places here. So we did the uh, hubcap and a little bit of a brighter pink. I'm going to do this one red. Let me just put a tiny bit of white here, try to fix that a little bit. Yeah. I'll let that dry. So I'm going to use straight pink paint one of these hearts. And when this dries, you could dry, you know, like those candies that says Be Mine or Hugs or XOXO. You could write something like that on here. You could write a name here or, um, you know, write some sort of camping expression. We went camping a few weeks ago with a group from Sam's Club. No, it's not the Sam's Club like that's like a Costco. It's just a, a camping group and they offer stuff like AAA. Anyway, we went out with this and this one lady had a bread machine in her camper. <laughs> And she made us fresh bread every day. It was so awesome. That's glamping. Okay, I think we need a red one. What about the one on the door? Maybe I'll make that red. This is a really vivid red. It's called Lipstick Red. Some reds have a little more... They're a little more orangey, I guess you'd say. And some have more like a blue... I would say this one has more of the, like the blue very intense red. Just going to put a drop of water on there, loosen this up a little bit, and I'm going to turn this so I can... Oh, I ran... I don't know if you can hear me. My battery just died, so I will come back later and finish this up. Sorry. Maybe I have enough. I'm almost done. I've got 
10% battery left. If you get some in the middle here where you painted it white, you can go back in and and put more white in there. This is very, very small to paint. You see where we painted the white so it really pops when I put the red on there. It'll make it easier to read. Trying to beat the battery. I'm trying to hurry. I hit the white. I can go back later and just cover that up. It's not a big deal. trying to hurry to beat the battery, but you could switch brushes and definitely get a smaller brush to do these tiny little places. That's what I would recommend. 